There has been another pause in the on again, off again eruption at the summit of Kilwea volcano. Before Friday morning, the activity looked like this, lava overflowing the west vent and filling the lava lake that occupies the western portion of the crater. The current eruption began in September of last year. It is the second eruption to occur at the caldera, since the summit collapsed less than four years ago. The activity appears to be part of the greater geological cycle at the volcano, observed over many decades. This National Park Service video shows the summit back in May 2018 as the collapse sequence began. This cloud of volcanic ash was created by rocks and debris falling into the receding lava lake two days before Hawaii Volcanoes National Park was closed for 134 days. As the lava drained away from the summit, it erupted miles away on the Lower East Rift Zone, inundating multiple neighborhoods in the district of Pune. Inside the national park, the seismic activity from the collapse significantly impacted buildings in the immediate vicinity of the summit, including the Jagger Museum and the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory facility. The area of the overlook has been closed ever since. Post-disaster assessments found that significant investment would be necessary to make the overlook buildings operational and safe to occupy. They are surrounded by fault lines and officials say the area continues to subside on the crater side, undermining slope stability at the existing terraces and building foundations. This week, the National Park Service unveiled its proposal to repair and or replace critical park infrastructure. We'll examine the different components of the recovery plan in greater detail. Under the proposed action, the National Park Service would demolish damaged structures at Uwe Kahuna Bluff and restore access to the existing overlook area next to the former Jagger Museum. The Museum Visitor Center function would be replaced with a new building near the existing Visitor Center by the park entrance. The proposal would realign Crater Rim Drive near the park entrance and install a roundabout. And the plan will allow the USGS Hawaiian Volcano Observatory to construct a replacement field station adjacent to the ball field by Kilauea Military Camp. Here's a closer look at the changes we will see, starting at the entrance to the park. This video simulation shows an aerial overview of the project area, as it travels along Crater Rim Drive from Highway 11, past the entrance booths, to the proposed roundabout. Park officials say the roundabout is needed due to increases in visitation over the past decade, as well as changes to circulation due to past eruptions that have led to traffic congestion problems. Heading towards the summit, we pass the Kilauea Visitor Center where a new building will be constructed. Officials say it will be compatible with the surrounding historic landscape. Visitor parking will be expanded and a covered outdoor area will be provided for orientation, exhibits, and gathering space. Officials say they seek to minimize impacts to site resources as much as possible. This rendering depicts the new Visitor Center building which will replace the loss of the Jagger Museum. It will be located next to the existing headquarters. Beyond the visitor center at the Kilauea military camp, a new building would become home to USGS research facilities. Officials say the new building would be nestled among an existing grove of trees between the military camp and an open grass area, which includes a historic ball field that currently serves as overflow parking during peak visitation. Finally, we come to the Uwe Kahuna Bluff overlook and the site of the former Jagger Museum, which will be demolished along with the other damaged facilities. The National Park Service says it will incorporate historical reference to the removed museum using stones salvaged from the structure. Officials plan to retain and repair the overlook wall and expand the overlook area into the Jagger Museum footprint. Large benches will serve as both seating and the opportunity for elevated viewing, again incorporating salvaged stone. Post and cable barriers will mark the limits of the overlook area. Hawaii Volcanoes National Park is inviting the public to review the project details online and attend a virtual meeting on February 24th. A link to the project website can be found in the description below. Public input will need to be submitted before March 9th. 